Alright everybody, it's Yusef. Nothing special about this game. I did a video game, uh, like a review on it one time. And, uh, I think it's pretty decent. It's a fighting game. Kids are kicking my butt with it, though. I, I'd tell you that much. Like, I'll, I'll be into it. And I've beaten it before, and the kids want to play games, and this is the only one I can pull up, and then I find that they're just sitting there not doing anything. We're up to a certain point in the story, so uh, my my thing is to play until I get there and then bring in my kids who basically will drive me for the rest of the time. I figure that'll be slightly ir uh, irritating for me, but more entertaining for you guys. Uh, and that's just putting it lightly because, you know, nobody watches these things all the way through. Do, do y'all? Do you really? Fighting games are not that that sort, though, for sure. Anyway, um... I never want to be the warrior. I'll go ahead and play as a shaman. So we finished Act 2. Long ago, the land was in turmoil. The Ashen Empire was rising, and its influence spread far and wide. The Imperial family plotted to destroy the Citadel, where the Seraphim had traded their weapons for a life of prayer. In their dark laboratories, the evil Ashen forged a commander from one of their own, the Gatebreaker whose sole aim was to bring down the cloister gates and lead their armies to victory. But the citadel was protected by immense fortifications and the gatebreaker needed more power to destroy them. He sought two relics of power, artifacts said to hold limitless raw magical energy. He turned to the Grimax horrid abominations created in the same laboratories. The Grimmock Warlord was ordered to find the artifacts using whatever means necessary. The Warlord marched her troops towards the monolith forest where one of the artifacts was rumored to lie buried. Oblivious to the growing turmoil, a group of adventurers were relaxing at a local tavern after their latest grand adventure. Check out that table there. See anyone familiar? Yeah, probably part of a mercenary group. You see a lot of them around these days. Hmm. Could be returning for the Battle of Brave Rock. The town is under attack! All right, so... What's going on is that I don't have my controller close to me. I've been making coffee the whole time they've been explaining the story. That's nice. So if you guys have been hearing any noises, that's me making coffee. Got like an hour maybe before my le next lesson. So trying to make the most out of it. I'm wearing leg weights and I'm like moving my legs back and forth. Oh. Every now and then I beat somebody up. Oh, my dog. Every now and then I beat somebody up. Get a, um... A thing. Like a jewel. Oh, I know what that's about. This carnage. 
<laughs> so refreshing. It reminds me of my childhood. Have you found it yet, my darlings? Not yet, Mama. This will take time. Time? I don't have time for this. Torch my wife gave me some, uh... The search will go faster. This place is burned to the ground. My wife gave me... You know, it's Christmas time. My wife gave me an advent calendar. Or, but it had coffee in it. And she gave it to me late. So I was like a day behind. My kids woke me up early. Because they're way more into opening gifts than I am. Their advent calendar is basically filled with chocolate. So I don't want to be around... When they eat the chocolate first thing in the morning, come on. What kind of a smart parent does that? It's like, um... It's like, hey, dude, like the first, the first day they ate their chocolate and they were literally standing there so hyped up that they were spinning their heads around like, wow. We're talking about 7.30 in the morning with this crap. So I'm like, yo, how, how many of those gifts is chocolate? She's like, half. I'm like, half of the gifts are chocolate? You gotta be kidding me. So now they, they open their gifts and then they have chocolate in the morning. Right? So they have morning chocolate. And, and now they know that I'm supposed to open up a gift. So what they do is they, they were stomping up and down the house going, Hey, don't forget about your gift. I, I basically... Let's get out of here. We'll Who's to down to get tickled, fam? Bring the survivors. If they know anything, tickle them until they talk. Great suggestion, Mama. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> so they they ran up around here we go Hey, that's not fair mm, You look tougher than the rest I bet you burn too though Are you all right? Ah, you look shocked. <laughs> but yeah, so, so, um... She totally, she totally got me, you know. So I'm like, you know, I wouldn't mind having the advent calendar, but... When the kids know that I'm supposed to receive a gift, they're just in my face about it. That's all they care. Like, if I get something in the mail, right? It's for me, not for them. They're like, well, who's, who's it for? What's, what's it going? What's, what is it? Who's it for? Is it yours? Can we open it now? What's going on? I'm like, uh, I don't really want to. They're so gift oriented that it's, it's like they get charged up and then you give them some sugar early in the morning So now they're like charged up with sugar and it's it's excruciating it's Not something you want to deal with early in the morning. Oi This sword's in your face. I missed him Oi, this mine is off limits <laughs> So yeah, it was irritating. And there's no stopping him. Just knocking on the door. My daughter, she's coming up with a, um... She's 
See, you figured out how to open up the locks, you know? So now I gotta be really careful. She can roll up on me during a private moment. I mean, my wife tries to do that junk. Like, she uh, lets my dog in early morning because my dog scratches on the door. So instead of just being like... Instead of being like, oh, well, you know, not for you. She's just like, all right, Rusty, here you go. She really wants to know what I'm doing, you know. Here we go. Like you, you all is running and you clear the um, things. And you're like, where, where are these all coming from? That was a bad move. Oh, I got a stun slam. So that's what we were doing anyway. Okay, well that stun slam isn't much different, is it? It'd be nice if the gunshot would, would like, uh, stun him a little bit. Don't let Bonzo get hurt! 
She won't. Ouch. Come on, boo. Oh, I see. Come on, boo. Losing half my energy over that. Well, whatever.
Oh, really? All right, well, I'm back to full. Oh, he ate him up. Oh, boo! Thought I was gonna be fancy there for a second. All right, here we go. I guess the strategy would be to just beat up everybody else. Alright, he's about done. Let's see what's up with you guys. Oh, wow. Come on. Oops. Okay. So you just come out right off the bat, huh?
All right. I didn't know blocking him sends him into a dizzy. That's a weird combo thing. Really encourages offense here. Or really encourages defense. If you can stagger a dude. Wish I could wake you up, man. Get you down. I like how you just flog the shit out of people while they're on the ground. That's weird how my, um... My shot has a little... Robe thing going on.
I want this guy. Sorry, man, you're free. Great Warlord, we have found the artifact, uh, but there is a slight problem. Finally! Where is it? Or is it just really, really small? Uh, no, no uh, some associates found it in a forest, uh, but they also found... I don't have time for your blabbering! Take me there at once! Now I gotta go to work. Do my thing. Just keep up in my attack till I can, uh... I'm not gonna spend any time on anything else. Though I do feel like a certain amount of defense would be good. 